When beginning most surveying and mapping projects, you are trying to find the coordinates of an unknown point or points, so you need to start at a place where the coordinates are known. Such starting points are called your project control. Using project control that has coordinates from the National Spatial Reference System, or the NSRS, ensures consistency with other surveys and maps that also use the NSRS. So that when maps are created, property boundaries determined, and roads planned, everything matches up. For decades, surveyors relied primarily on passive control marks to tie into the NSRS. Passive control marks are usually some physical object, often a metal disc or rod installed in the ground. They are called passive because they can't alert you to their movement, and their coordinates may not be checked and updated for years or even decades. Over 800,000 passive control marks were set across the country, generally by the federal government, to build the NSRS. Over the years, however, many marks have been disturbed, damaged, or destroyed. The coordinates for many others are no longer valid due to earthquakes, subsidence, or other crustal motion. For these reasons, you should always check a mark's coordinates before using it as control, and there may not even be a valid mark in your area of interest. Today, instead of marks in the ground, people are using permanently installed Global Positioning System, GPS, and other Global Navigation Satellite Systems, GNSS, receivers as active control. These receivers are called active because they are always collecting satellite information which tells us if they have moved, and if so, how much. You can utilize active control by accessing data from a nationwide network of continuously operating GPS reference stations or cores to compute an up-to-date position in the NSRS. Cores act as your known points to help you establish coordinates on unknown points. Each cores includes a highly accurate receiver that constantly collects radio signals broadcast by GPS and other GNSS satellites, allowing the coordinates to remain up-to-date. NOAA works with many partners to manage a network of several thousand cores, which are located in secure areas to ensure their longevity. CORE's coordinates, accessed via the Internet, are validated daily and updated in the event of land movement. This is a very different approach than passive control where coordinates may not be checked for years. Using passive control requires you to start your survey from an existing physical point, which you must find and occupy with surveying equipment. Conversely, users have no need to physically visit a CORE site and, in fact, can use CORES from hundreds of kilometers away from their survey site. While passive control marks will continue to play an important role in the mapping community, making use of cores and GPS allows you to keep up with this dynamic and changing world and start your survey almost anywhere. <laughs>